Okay, this is the final one. This is, um, I've already put in uh, and made the uh, final comp with music, but I want to explain it to you and see and show you what I did. The first thing I did was I made a comp which was the same size as the other comp. So this comp here that we're working on is, um, uh, I named it uh, Go Green Music Comp and it's 800 by 480 pixels and it's 10 seconds long so go ahead and make a comp that's just like that drop in your go green assembly comp or the final go green comp okay so there is it is it's dropped in and you can see it lasts for the entire time now all i've done is i put an opacity from zero to one um, from zero seconds to one second at zero to a hundred on the opacity and then i just reversed it at the end so you can see it fades in and it fades out now what I want to show you is, let me go down in size here and go like this. Okay, what I want to show you first is um, there's three music files that you can use. Um, here's the audio. The, the, the bird one is simply, it's really beautiful and I'll have you hear it on screen. I put and set it to a, um, I, I added a keyframe at the beginning of negative 48 so it faded in because um, it actually was a constant thing, and I had to fade it in from zero to negative, from negative 48 to uh, zero. So here is what the bird comp actually sounds like as it fades in. Okay, listen. I'll turn up the sound so you can hear it. Okay, it's just a beautiful thing of birds. Now, here is the music comp. Notice how I put the music comp in. Um, and let me uh, turn on the music comp so you can hear it. And let me hit the L key and open the waveform so you can see I didn't have to set any keyframes. The music comp, I have it starting at about one second. So just put it in and have it start at one second. This is the background music. I put that at, I just left it at zero as well. Now here's the background music. Now let's combine the bird comp with the music comp. And what do you get is this. Real pretty. Now, when we get to the point where the leaves pop out up here on the um, logo, I want you to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom into the logo and I am going to hit Control 8 on the comp up here to zero in whenever a leaf starts to pop in like that. See the leaf right there? See that leaf that's popping in? I'm going to go control eight and put a marker right on this um, main go green comp. So I can then get a little whoosh sound to come in and snap to wherever the leaf comes in. So that's the first one. Let's go to the second one. See the second one come in on the bottom right there? Go control eight. So now I have two markers. And now let me s separate these out and put them over here. Let's go to the third leaf. Here comes the third leaf right there, and guess what? Control eight, let's go to the fourth leaf. Fourth leaf comes in right there behind the butterfly. Great, let's go control eight. Let's go to the fifth leaf. Fifth leaf is coming in now. So right here, let's go control eight. I'm being repetitive, but that's the way it goes. Let's go now off the E, there's the other one. So let's go control eight. So now all my markers will show me where my little whoosh sound goes. Now let's go to the other one up here on the uh, other word go, and let's go control eight. So now I should have, um, let me see how many leaves I have. I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Command S to save the file. Now independently of that, don't care about those. Let me turn off the sound to the other things. Let me hit the waveform, L button, then open the waveform. Do you see how I put in, do you see how I put in, let me expand this. See where the whoosh comes in and makes a whoosh sound? I've already lo lowered that to minus six. This is what it did sound like at zero. It'd be way too loud, but listen, this is what it sounds like. See, I'll do it again. Okay, that'd be way too loud. So let me put it in at minus six. But regardless of that, I put a marker right where the height of the whoosh is. Do you follow what I'm saying? So let me go like this, good. Okay, that's nice. Now all I have to do is close the waveform. I don't even have to see it. 
move my timeline to the first marker on the comp and move this in. And as soon as the markers cross each other, look at how now I have this marker crossing that marker, I'm good to go. I'll go to the second marker, I'll hit this one in Command D, then I'll move this one into here. Okay, two, two down, five to go. Let's move over to this marker, Command D, and let's go Command D and move over to this marker. And you can see that very simply, I'll have all my little whooshy sounds in, then we can render the file. Command D and we're all done. So now I use markers a great deal when it comes to aligning audio, but it, there's, you always have to do fine tuned movements. So last Command D, remember to save your file. And now we're gonna turn on all the audio, boom zitty boom zitty, and um, Let's go in and now here's what the whole thing sounds, looks like and everything, okay? I'm actually gonna expand this out. I might even hit the tilde key so we can see this whole thing. So let me hit the tilde key. Let me make sure beginning and points are good. Okay, now let's move this over and here is your final thing. <laughs> Butterfly was just a nice little add-on effect at the end. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, uh, I found um, today's kind of animation to be real important to use cameras and to use expressions when possible. Uh, we're going to start getting into pick whipping if we haven't already done so, but um, please stay tuned and there will be better things on the horizon. <laughs>